Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am so excited to be with you here. So I am currently working on my March 2024 Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. This is alternative video number 13. Yay! So guess what? We are going to be doing a cradle slash I call it more of a platform card for video number 13. Woo! Yay! 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 Then I have to go inside. <laughs> so this month's kit is called Memorable Meadows. This is a look at the instruction and flyer sheet that comes with the kit. You got to do three of this one, three of this one, and three of this one. You get a visual of everything in the kit, the QR code, and the coordinating colors. If you were here to see the projects as they were designed, I'm sorry to disappoint you. That's just not my thing. I like to do my own thing, and I do it with just one box from Paper Pumpkin from Stampin' Up! So let's get started, as I don't want this to take, like, hours and hours. So, um, last month I made this adorable little platform card. You can see when it goes down. When it sits, it's more of a platform, okay? Instead of a cradle, it's got a better visual, and it does stand up nicely, just not on my notebook. Um, I didn't alter anything from my original description, um, but I just changed that we're not adding um, layers onto this one. So that's my point of reference. I made my little uh, note card for my little card file of fun folds. Let's put this in there now before anything happens to it. And a C for cradle. All right. So here we go. I've got everything marked. I'm going to score, show you how I scored them, but I'm just going to pretend because I already scored. So we have a cradle platform card for the top, for the main part of the card. That's um, this tent piece okay might as well just put the envelope away it is four and a quarter by eight and a half I'm hoping I do a better job in this video describing how you do this we're gonna score it three quarters of an inch four and a quarter and seven and three quarters I wrote that down there because we're gonna use the trimmer and I'm gonna show you that this we're gonna cut down this is the piece we're looking for from our kit Next, we cut two that are two and a quarter by four and a quarter, and we score them at one and an eighth. They're already scored. And then we have cut one, cut two, cut one. This is the one here. This is two by four, and it's scored at a quarter of an inch, one inch, and then one and three quarters. This is the W fold this piece here okay that's this piece then we have cut one at two by four scored it one inch do that in thick or if you're using stamping ups uh, colored cardstock it's nice and thick and it should do the job just fine for your DSP and for the back, you'll need a piece that's three and a quarter by four. This is the same size. We are going to cut this down too. So let's do that first. Guillotine. Three and a quarter by four. So I'm going to go to three and a quarter and then by four. So I'm just going to take it off of the top and I still have these bits I can use on a card, which are now over there. And I bet I just cut that wrong because now it's going to lay sideways and not the way it was intended to. Do you see what I did? So now I got to get another card base. Mm hmm. Yeah, I cut it wrong. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank goodness I do have one in here. I will have to do something with that. Here we go. So I need this. It does make a difference. So this way it needs to be four. And I was looking, maybe I could 
put an element there to make it, but we're not. We're just going to go with this. So four inches. Yes, I just cut it the wrong way. Four inches by three. So it's four inches this way, you'll see, in Pretty Peacock. And then I need to turn it this way. Oh, that's the... Where is my white piece of paper? I cut it that way. I should have done this by three and a quarter this way. So three and a quarter. Oh, that's quite a bit, isn't it? So three and a quarter. We're going to cut off a half an inch off of the top. Then we're going to turn it and cut a half an inch off of the bottom. Hopefully I can use those in something. So now that should be the same and that's our focal point. So we have those two done. Now these you don't need to see me score. This is the two by four scored at one inch. I just need the bone folder. So you just for it, do it like that, and that's how it's going to sit. The W fold, two and a quarter by one, scored it quarter of an inch, one inch, and one and three quarters. I'm going to keep those little pieces of paper because I'm going to put them on my um, little card in my card fold. So there's one. Let me do the other side back. So you do those up because we're making a W fold here and this this way. So do you see our W? I really want to work this. Hold on, give me a minute. I want this well lined it up better anyways. I'm going to squirt back and forth on all the folds so that when it is being pulled in and out of the card, it does its thing like it should. So just work it a little bit. Yeah, that, that looks good. So next, we need to go ahead and glue these pieces together like so. I'm thinking... That cannot really be that piece. Is it that piece? It just doesn't look like it's... Why is that not even the right size? How... I cut this to four. That's not right. It's supposed to be four and a quarter. My goodness. This is four and a quarter. Is this wrong too? No, this piece is four and a quarter. That piece just isn't four and a quarter, so I need to cut another one. I'm sorry, but that just, you know, it cannot. It's this way that, what is wrong with this piece of cardstock? Let's see, that is four and a quarter this way, so it needs to be at two. That's what little bit I had left from a full sheet of cardstock. We're not going to stop now. So now we get to score at one inch. Let's get it. Let's try to get it right at one inch. It'd be nice if it was like nice and even. One, two, and three. Now are these four? Those are four and a quarter. I just must have turned it the wrong way when I cut that piece. Okay, I just have some scrap. All right, I want to glue these together and then I'm going to clip them together to let them get held. So, on the little up bit of the W, I'm going to put some glue. You could use tear tape. 
You could use, of course, I, I say that all the time, you can use whatever glue your heart desires. So you want to glue it into the tent with the pointy bit going towards the inside of the tent. So I'm going to give that just a quick little bit there. Now this one here. Somebody let a dog out. Why do they do this to me? They know. They know. Okay, let me see who's outside. I heard a little dog shake. Not a little dog. Come on, Boone. Hurry up. Come on. Okay, just a minute, guys. Oh. Mm -hmm. My sincerest apologies. Boom just mm -hmm. did not want to come out into the stew room. It's pouring wet outside. Okay. So next we have our two and a quarter by four. And it's scored at one and one eighth. And you have two of these. And it just makes it in half. That one and an eighth. Now, these two tent pieces are going to go on to the tent piece with that W fold there. And this is going to go this way. And I think I should trim it down to one inch. Why do I have it? Why do I have it? Guys, I don't know what's wrong with my measurements. It's driving me crazy. Okay, we're going to trim this down to... I need to take an eighth of an inch off of all of it. I need to trim it to two. Just do. Just do it, Alice, and get it. I don't know why. Let me see. No, it needs to be lined right up there, so I don't know... Find my measurements. See, it's at two and a quarter. You need to take, it needs to be two. Not two and a quarter. Now it's at two. Just, maybe I was looking at the other measurements because I did so many of these. That's okay. We're just going to make it two by four and a quarter. Turn it this way. It's still scored it now it's two and a quarter two by four scored at one you need three of those apparently so let's change this to two there we go i don't know what's wrong with me Maybe this was at two and a quarter at one time, and then I decided to change it. I want a little bit more glue right there in that corner. All right, now I'm going to put glue along here. Whatever, of course, tape or seal, seal plus, whatever you want to do. And this one, tent to tent, right? We want that peaky bit at the top and we're going to glue these two together you could stick your fingers in there so I'm going to go to the other side now and do the same thing Make sure you get glue and the glue is cold and I don't want to turn the heater back on. All right. So 
So tent to the tent where my finger is. And this will give us our cradle slash, this is more of a platform card. So you see, there's our platform. Because that's what we want. We want that flatness to it. So this next one, this is the four and a quarter by eight and a half. And you just simply put it in here and you scored at three quarters of an inch at four and a quarter. Okay. You can go down to seven and three quarters or turn it around like I did and score it again at three quarters of an inch. And first I'm going to fold it into the center. And then these both are going to get folded inwards. I'm going to go over these again really well. Put them together, all of it, and I'm just going to go over my score lines again. Front, back, and back. Now these, you pull these down, and these two... The outside of it's going to the platform, to the very edge right there. So that's what we're going to work on next is getting glue all along there, the edge. I'm reading a really good book called What the River Knows. So far, it's good anyways. I'm enjoying it. I do enjoy reading tremendously. My husband's not one for travel. Um, my back doesn't handle traveling too well. But a book can take you, if it's a really good writer, they paint a picture that I am... It, it is just visual in my head when I read. So next is this one here. It is um, set in, the first place it was set in was Argentina. And then the heroine of the book, you could call her, I guess, goes to Egypt in search of what happened to her parents. She suspects foul play from her uncle who is in charge of her and her money now. All right. I'm going to lay it flat and smear my glue. on both sides. So now I have my Christmas tree basically. You see the Christmas tree everybody? So there is my platform and it does stand up beautifully. It really really does. All right so next this is going to get pretty simple here. If I can find the one that's not cut wrong that would look beautifully if it was meant to go there. So where's the right piece? Where, oh, where have you gone? There we go. Look at that. Now we are going to add some ribbon and a bow on here this time around. But let's get this glued in place. I think a pretty bow will go on this really nicely. Okay. 
layer flat and you can get it on there. We still have the back to do, but let's get the ribbon on there. And I have that beautiful celery ribbon, which I think will still go very nicely and shouldn't add too much of a bulk to this. You know what I think would be really pretty on here would be um, a little hello. I can't help myself. I'm so bad. Give me a hello, right? Yes. And I'm thinking, what set? I mean, we've already done the strips and all of that. Oh, and the other sentiment strips in the kit are too big. So let me look here on my desk. I had something I thought might work. Oops, let's see. I have some circles. We could do this. And do, let's, what would fit on here? Have a beautiful day. Will that fit? Oh my goodness, it does. So you could do have a beautiful birthday. But we are just going to do, and we're going to move it to this side because I have that one. Oh no, we can do it that side. I want to use this butterfly this one right here and that is going to go really pretty right there so we're going to use this this is very reminiscent this is from last month's paper pumpkin kit but it's very much the same size as the label me fancy punch which probably is retired knowing me and we need of course pretty peacock to tie in with our color of cardstock choice Let's get a nice stamping. Now, if you don't have ribbon, do a little bit of um, cardstock. We're going to need that again. I was looking for something. Oh, where's my supply bits? I'm looking for a scrap piece, a trash bit actually, which has long since disappeared. That's not what I want to see. It's one of those vellum. Here it is. I want to show you. This could work. We could add this instead of the ribbon. We could put a piece of that vellum. Oh, let's do that. We'll just do that. Sorry about hitting the camera. We're just going to do this. So we're going to use these thicker bits. Where are some snip scissors? Thinking fingers are thinking, where on earth did I put the scissors, right? Use that as a guide. I'm going to turn it this way, so i using the side here as the edge to guide it. And you see it's not quite right. However, we only need, we don't need it to go behind everything, right? So right about here I can cut. And that's going to go on the other side. So we're going to put a little gap in there, like so, and then that will cover that up. And we still have more for another card project. All right, we need the tear tape because it is vellum. I probably should have put tear tape on it before I cut it in half, but that's all right too. And the wee little piece.
gonna put this here so I know where about the middle it's going to land. Want the straight edge on the opposite side. That's not the straight edge, I can tell. There we have it. And this now is going to go there. And I am going to keep this. You won't believe how flat that is. But that is flat. So we're going to keep that that way. And just glue this down. So I only need to put glue on the top. Here in the center. Maybe a bit there. Because otherwise the vellum. It won't stick to vellum. So have a beautiful day. Very simple. It can be have a beautiful birthday, guys. It's just I will use this more than I would a birthday. And my butterfly that I so desired to use. Voila. And we need some of the little, um, these. I wish these had more silver, like this holographic stuff in the background, but we'll take what we can get. Um, one. I'm trying to figure out where I want it. Two. And right there. So there's the front of our card. And we need some Winka Stella, of course. Do all our little flower bits. And do the bit of sky. A little bit of sparkle never hurt nobody. So now for the back. Save all those. Making sure I stamp it correctly. And we have have a beautiful day. Heartfelt thanks I believe should go on here. Very simple little cradle card. Hopefully I've made it a little easier except for my boo-boo there with the <laughs> two mm. might help if I see this as being straight right no dots or anything I, I'm kind of liking just the oh I could sponge I could have sponged around the outside of there that would have been really pretty but we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. It's good. It is good. I know it's good. Okay. This goes on the back. Now, I've seen pictures of these cards. And they do all this fancy stuff there. Maybe because when you pull it out, you want something down here. So we could take this little piece and put it there. Yeah. Um, just to add something to it. And we could probably back it in a piece of white. That was Mr. Hank again. I bet he is like, Manji, I'm hungry. This is part of an envelope, so we're going to cut this. This piece here, we know, from here to here is one inch. So I want to cut this to three quarters of an inch. This will not be in the description, sorry. Um, so three quarters of an inch, and it should be by four which it already is. And then this piece is gonna lay on there and it needs to be by three and three quarters. I'm not gonna do one for the back. 
I'm just doing it for the front. That then is going to go down there. You could have put the layer up here. You could have put a layer of white and then cut um, the DSP or the card base like we did. Because the white does stand out really pretty. But I just wanted simple layers. Except, of course, I add... I can't get that to move. <laughs> so there we have it. Even though when it is in actual position... Um, you really don't see it, but you will see a little bit of that white will draw your eye down to that level. On the back, I'm leaving it totally, totally plain. And you will see it's going to go in its card. Oh, do we do a white one? Yes, we're going to do a white card base, but we need, we cannot leave it like this, guys. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. We just can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. So we're going to put it's the little things that matter from the stamp set. And of course I get ink there. Of course I do. It's just how things are. Um, and I do want, I want a flower. I do. So we're going to grab that one. Pretty Peacock. We're even going to do the base in Pretty Peacock. I want to do, let's do this like there. Don't know why I wanted it there, but I do. So we're going to go down in that corner. And then down here. Let's see, we're going to make it lay like so. So now we have three. You guys know I can't just leave it alone. No, 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 no. Not going to happen. And now my tower is stuck. Come on, turn, turn, turn. We want... We went gorgeous great. I turned right past it. Why I, I still do that to... I still put things back. I just can't help it. When I leave the stamp room, some days, that's still pretty. Okay. Oops. Let's do it right there. Oh, that is very, very, very pretty. I bet I could stamp this. <laughs> you know what I'm doing, don't you guys? Yeah, we're going to fix the back. I just want a little bit of that right there. That's all. I just want a touch of it. Don't fuss. Oh, I want Daffodil Delight and I just passed it up. We're going to use the blender pen. Have I sold you guys on that blender pen yet? If you don't have one, <laughs> you know, one package will last you and you, you will, you would be surprised at how much you use it. Keep it out on your desk. Um, because like me, if you have it put away, you're not going to remember that. Oh my goodness. I have this wonderful, wonderful tool. I'm trying to get that right there. Um, but if it's not visual, if it's not accessible, you won't use it like you should. And trust me, you want to use it. So we're going to blend in the purple. Just a little on there on our envelope. Just swirl it. Look at that coloring it's giving us. Just lightly shading it. I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see it. So hopefully you out there, those of you who do not have a blender pen, 
Come on. You want one? I know you do. It's so fun to use. I mean, I have used it so many because I finally remembered to bring it out and I've had them for eons. So you can see it added that little hint of purple in there. Now our card is finished. It is so pretty and it is a fun fold. It is a cradle slash platform card is what I call it. And it, it doesn't get heavy. It just doesn't like be on there. But if it's flat, pop it down. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful little card. Love the little butler butterflies in the dollar store. Can't beat that. And they're nice and flat. No dimension on them. Great card. So thanks for watching everybody. Oh, do you want to see how it goes through the mail? Let's see. So there's my card, right? Where's my measuring guide? Of course, it would get stuck on the flap there, but there. See, it does go through, and it's flat. He's not going. My postmaster is not going to be able to feel anything that's going to keep this from going through the machine. Love it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that you would consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, like, or share this with somebody you know who may enjoy paper crafting. It does help me out, and I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you have the time, your guys' your comments, as always, is what keeps me going. And I know I must say that in every video, but I really want you to know how much it means to me that you would take the time to leave me a comment. Um, I do appreciate it and I do get back to you. So thank you very much and please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.